G'day everybody, finally got the damn thing sorted, got the uh, got the correct drives in, um, configured in a RAID 6, um, total of 4 tier, uh, yeah 6 drives of course, um, VMware's all installed, I've got uh, most of my virtual machines, um, well Windows ones anyway, installed, um, it's just a matter of actually setting them up and doing all the domain controller shit and setting up exchange and so on and so on. But um, yeah, not running too bad at the moment. But, um, yeah. Also, I've got a bloody another server. Well, it's not mine. It's a um, customer's one for the company I work for. Um, I'm doing it over the weekend. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm upgrading them to four SSDs instead of the um, mechanical hard drives. Uh, just doing a Windows backup now. That's all I can really show you, cause as it is a customer server. Um, yeah, it's not a not a bad unit. It's one of the Acer Altos uh, AT350 F2. Um, this used to be the old server that um, the company I work for had, um, but we sold it on because this company, this other company that now owns it is part of our group essentially um, but yeah so just doing the windows back up and then I'll <coughs> yank those drives out chuck the um, SSDs in there and um, yeah configure it in the RAID 10 and uh, should be good um, it is a terminal server so it's not like it's their main server or nothing so yeah but, um, yeah anyway back to my hoard <laughs> So I've got one virtual machine to come off that Hewlett Packard, uh, which is the a name server for for a friend of mine. Um, yeah, basically just going to figure out how to do the or set up the NIC team uh, for the LACP and VMware. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing much has changed. So yeah, it's just a matter of yeah, getting everything on this puppy and um, then I can shut that down um, yeah the the seller was um, was bloody good actually um, he yeah he, he was pretty quick to fix the situation so he sent me the sent me the four drives overnight um, and basically said to me just keep keep the other ones he didn't want them back um, even though I said to him if you pay for a courier ticket I'm more than more than happy to send them back to you but he's like nah just keep them so I was like yeah oh, you're all right so um yeah those four drives will go in this Hewlett Packard so there'll be four terabytes worth of drives I'm just not sure what RAID level I'll set them up in but um yeah bloody cat I'm always trying to make a scene um yeah swapping the other HP out here um that's the BFSense firewall um, that'll be going on the watch guard firebox. Um, but other than that, yeah, still trying to sell that damn thing. Uh, many people are watching it, but they're not buying it, which is kind of annoying. But oh well, it's at forty-five dollars now. <laughs> um, is the replacement switch that I suppose I've got to kind of configure up and get set for the network? Yeah, just ignore the cables looped into it. It's not actually on at the moment. But um, yeah. But no, so I'm quite quite happy with how well this went. Ugh. Um, yeah, all six drives. And, um, yeah. Um, I'll probably show you the software side shortly. Um, it's not going to be in too much detail. I'm just going to basically crap over what I've got installed. And um, yeah. I oh, also another thing I'd like to mention. Thank you everybody who has subscribed recently, um, I'm up to 111 subscribers now, yes I know it's not much, but hey it's pretty pretty bloody cool, um, yeah, it's been a rapid increase since the WatchGuard, um, installing PFSense on the WatchGuard box went up, um, I've had 15 plus subscribers from that, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, thanks for Thanks for subscribing, um, it does mean quite a bit, but yeah, it's great um, knowing that there are like-minded people out there, um, 
that do enjoy the kind of that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, I will end this bit here. Um, I may or may not tack on the software bit. Ah, oh, stuff it. I will. Um, yeah. So just hold for that bit. Cheers. All right. Just a quick, um, quick glance over the software side. So yeah, I'm running uh, VMware SXI six. Uh, just the free license because I don't use any of the bloody replication features and all the other fancy stuff it's just a single host um, yeah so to the yeah, to the left you can see all the uh, all the servers so I've got exchange a home server um, my friend's name server um, domain controllers and a terminal server um, currently the only three that are well four really um, yeah, the four that are, that are configured and running is the home server, the name server, and the two domain controllers. Currently, the terminal server and exchange server aren't doing anything at this point. Um, yeah, so basically, it's just a quick overview. Um, you can see the the specs of the um, machine there. 32 gigs of RAM as well. Ah, uh, 36, sorry. But yeah, that's that's a bloody nice server, and um, yeah, quite happy to have it. But um, yeah, cool. On to the next bit. All right, I'm back. Now, um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't video much of the migration because it was quite fucking hectic. A lot of uh, a lot of networking problems and VLANing and shit like that. So there was a lot of time spent on that. So right now I've just got all this fucking cable mess. The watch guard and the um, Ally Talos switch are in, up and running. So the, yeah, all the, uh, it's the three ports on the VM host. And then I've got the um, management port for the VM host there. I will move that, uh, it's just a matter of shutting down the host and moving it. Well, not really, I can still do it live, but I've got to route it through that hole there and shit like that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much the bloody thing cut over. So, yeah, just in the process of shutting it all down. So I can um, sort the battery backup units up out down there. Um, and slide it in there and, yeah. So um, I'll be back when it's all done. All right, so this is the final bit. It's uh, it's all in. <coughs> Just got the Dell sitting in there. Remove the battery backup unit from down there because it's getting caked and fucking shit. So yeah, I've just got the Dell in there. Uh, battery backup unit's here, or one of them. Um, this does just the server. As you can see, those two cables right there that, that, that go down to the server. Put some capping on it just to make it look a bit nicer. Just a little. Um, the rest of the gear's up there. So you've got the other battery backup. Uh, my single bay NAS, uh, the watch guard with PF sense on it, and the network switch. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of power shit in the back, I don't know whether you can see. But um, yeah, I've done it all. God, what a bloody nightmare it was. The shit I pulled out of there, well, not, not out of here because this wasn't up at the time, but the shit that I pulled out of here is freaking incredible. <laughs> but, um, yeah. There's everything I removed there, the old firewall here, um, the old hypervisor, the old switch, and the, just a bunch of drives that came out of this, but yeah, there was shit loads of bloody uh, network cable, power cable, and all that sort of rubbish that I pulled out, which was good. So it's drastically simplified, but hey, it does the flipping job. So um, yeah, anyway, I suppose this has been my network upgrade. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, yes, yeah, stay, stay tuned. Cheers.